your expenses. One of the pillars of a solid financial plan is knowing where your money is going. It's like being a detective on your own financial case. You're on the hunt to find out where every single dollar is going. Why is this so important, you ask? Well, without a clear understanding of where your money is being spent, it's challenging to identify areas where you can cut back or save more. Imagine a road trip without a map or a GPS. You might eventually get to your destination, but you'll likely take a few wrong turns, waste gas, and spend a lot more time getting there. Tracking your expenses is your financial GPS. It helps you navigate your spending habits so you get to your financial goals faster and more efficiently. There are various ways to track your expenses. Let's start with the traditional method, keeping receipts. This method requires discipline but it provides a detailed record of your purchases. Every time you buy something, keep the receipt. At the end of the week or month, tally up those receipts and categorize them. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going. If you're more of a digital person, there are numerous apps available that can help you track your expenses. These apps can link to your bank account and credit cards, categorize your spending, and even alert you when you're approaching your budget limit. Another method is maintaining a ledger. This is similar to keeping receipts, but instead of physical slips of paper, you record your expenses in a book or a digital spreadsheet. This gives you a real-time view of your spending and helps you adjust your habits as needed. No matter which method you choose, the key is consistency. Regular tracking gives you a clearer picture of your spending habits, helps identify patterns, and allows you to make necessary adjustments to reach your financial goals. Tracking your expenses gives you control over your money rather than letting it control you. So let's take charge and start tracking our expenses today. All right, goal set, expenses tracked, now it's time to create your budget. This is where the rubber meets the road, where we apply what we've learned so far to build a financial plan that's uniquely ours. Let's start with a simple guideline, the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests that 50% of your income should go towards necessities, like rent and groceries. 30% should be allocated for wants, those little luxuries that make life more enjoyable. The remaining 20% should be saved or used to pay off debt. Now this rule is not a one-size-fits-all solution, it's a starting point, a framework that we can adjust to better fit our unique financial circumstances and goals. So if your goal is to pay off student loans or save up for a down payment on a house, you may want to allocate more than 20% of your income towards savings. Or if you're living in a city with high cost of living, your necessities might take up more than 50% of your income. It's all about balance and making your money work for you. Your budget should be a tool that helps you achieve your financial goals, not a straitjacket that restricts your every purchase. And remember, a budget is a living document. It's not set in stone. As your income changes, as your goals evolve, as life happens, your budget should adapt. Don't be afraid to revisit and revise your budget regularly. The key is to stay honest with yourself about your spending and saving habits. Be realistic about what you can afford and what you can save, and always, always prioritize your financial well-being. So take some time, crunch some numbers, and create a budget that reflects your financial reality and your financial aspirations. And remember, a budget is not a restriction, but a liberation from financial stress. With a well-crafted budget, you're not just planning for the future, you're also ensuring a more secure and less stressful present. Now, you've got the basics down. Let's look at some tips to make budgeting easier. The first trick up our sleeve is automating your savings. This is as simple as setting up a direct deposit from your paycheck into your savings account. By doing so, you're paying yourself first and ensuring that a portion of your income is saved before you have the chance to spend it. This is a fantastic way to build up an emergency fund or save for a big purchase. Next, let's talk about cutting unnecessary expenses. These are those pesky little purchases that sneak up on you and eat away at your budget. This could be that daily latte you grab on the way to work or those impulse buys at the checkout line. Take a hard look at where your money is going and ask yourself if there are areas where you could cut back. Remember, small changes can add up to big savings over time. Another tip is to use budgeting tools. There are numerous apps and online tools available that can help you track your spending and savings. These tools can provide insights into your spending habits and help you make informed decisions about where your money is going. Now, onto the concept of zero-based budgeting. This is a method where you allocate every single dollar of your income towards your expenses, savings, and investments. 
The goal is to have your income minus your expenses equal zero at the end of the month. This requires strict discipline, but can be extremely effective in controlling your spending and maximizing your savings. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, regularly review your budget. Your budget is not set in stone. As your life changes, so will your financial needs and goals. It's important to regularly review and adjust your budget to ensure it remains an effective tool for managing your finances. Remember, a budget is a living document. It changes as your life does. So don't be afraid to tweak it, change it, or completely overhaul it if necessary. After all, your budget is there to serve you, not the other way around. All right, we've covered a lot today. Let's do a quick recap. We began with setting financial goals, the cornerstone of any solid budgeting plan. Remember, these should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Then we dived into the importance of tracking expenses. This is your financial mirror showing where your money goes and helping you spot any leaks. Next, we walked through creating a personalized budget. This isn't a one-size-fits-all process. Your budget should accommodate your income, needs, wants, and financial goals. Finally, we shared some tips for effective budget management. Automating your savings, using budgeting apps, and regularly reviewing your budget are just a few ways to keep your financial plan on track. Remember, budgeting is not about restriction, but about making your money work for you. With these tools, you are now ready to take control of your financial future. Here's to your journey 